What's going on, Born for Sports? Well, big news today out of Giants camp. They're back from the bye week, and they have made a quarterback change, a expected change. Daniel Jones has been benched, and Tommy DeVito named the star. Well, it was not a move that we didn't expect to happen. It was trending that way ever since the last game, you know, and Joe Shane's presser revealed a lot. First time publicly they acknowledged that they were not 100% committed to starting Daniel Jones. And it happened. You know, it happened. Now, before we get into it, I'm not going to act like that this move is just all of a sudden going to change the season around. It's not. It's not. The Giants are in some dark times right now, man. Some dark times. And they are officially admitting that they needed to go a different direction publicly with a new franchise quarterback. Now, I say publicly because, hey, the offseason and the draft season, it showed what they were thinking. This regime wanted to move on from Daniel Jones. They wanted to go in a different direction. They wanted to try to trade up in the draft to get their guy. And unfortunately, they couldn't do it because the teams that were ahead of them that they could have traded with needed their guy. Hard Knocks revealed a lot. It was it was awkward the whole time this season. They basically, this regime sent a message to Daniel Jones that we need you to play to the caliber that we want to pay, that we're paying you and to go forward because we are already acknowledging that we have a issue with our quarterback position that we want to get better at. And it was a sink or swim season. I said it many times. I've said it all summer. This was it for him. Stink or swim. Either you show you the guy or they're going to have to move on. And you know, it's not all his fault that the Giants are 2-8. and eight. I'm not here to tell y'all that. Any logical Giant fan can see that. It's not all his fault. But the quarterback position, it's a very important position in sports. Probably the most important in sports. And if you don't have the guy, if you don't have the guy that you feel comfortable it can win you a championship in a Super Bowl, you're not going nowhere as a franchise. You know, you're going to be stuck in a rut, you know. When you have a, a guy that you know can elevate his play or his teammates on his team around him to better heights because he's just not that guy, well, you're going to have to move on. That's what the Giants basically admitted they're going to do publicly now, you know. There's a lot of reasons why they're 2-8, and eight, and it's not all because of Daniel Jones, but – He's one of the biggest reasons why, and the Giants have finally decided to do that. Now, me, I am not a guy, a Daniel Jones guy. I have not been. I've admitted that many times, but I wanted him to do well because I wanted to win. That was my whole thing. I wanted to win. You know, I'm a Giant fan, and it's always about the front of the jersey before the name in the back. And if he's doing well, I was gladly going to eat my words. But – it didn't happen. And I'm not even mad at DJ. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is because he is who he is. No one will ever take away three things. His toughness. He works hard. Okay? No one can take that away from him. He's never been a guy that's going to loaf and not give it all his max effort. But in the in the uh, bracket of a franchise quarterback, he's just not that guy, you know? It just is what it is. And it was clear for a while the Giants had to move on and find their guy because in this division now, they're behind the trail now. You know, the Eagles have their team. Washington has their team now. They have their quarterback. And it remains to see if he's gonna. they're going to be – you know, a championship team, but they do have their guy. Uh, Dak Prescott is in Dallas. We'll see how that goes. But Dallas, you know, when they're healthy, they're a good team. The Giants had to make a move, and they just did. Okay. I also want to say thank you for 2022. 
It was a great year. I had a lot of fun that year. A year that I didn't expect this team to do anything. A year that I didn't expect a lot from DJ. And in that second half of the season with Brian Day, we coaching. He won coach of the year that year. And Daniel Jones had a, had a really good second half of the season. Led us to a playoff win in Minnesota. Thank you for that. That was a fun time to be a Giant fan. And one of the best times, me personally, as a season ticket holder and a Giant fan of 38 years, hey, one of the best years that I had in maybe a decade since the Super Bowl season in 2011. So, you know, shout out to DJ for 20 for uh, 2022. But, hey, it's time to move on. And the Giants will be moving on officially after the season when they, pro when they cut ties with Daniel Jones. Now, I also – now, I also want to say, you know, for anyone that doesn't like the move, hey, these numbers speak for themselves. Since the extension, 3-13 and record, 186 yards passing a game, 10 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, 76.6 passer rating in the last 16 games. Those numbers are not franchise quarterback worthy, and it is what it is. So hopefully, you know, when DJ moves on, he can find his game and become a better player in another organization. Um, speaking of that, this organization, I think we got to talk about how the spotlight is now and the pressure is now shifted on Stable and Shane. Now, if you listen to me, I have said plenty of times, I don't want to change this regime. Hey, I don't want to change it, but the record is not good. And we can't always blame it on one person. We can't always blame it on, on, on DJ. DJ's not around no more, okay? I believe that this regime, especially Brian Dable, needs to win some games because, man, that pressure is, is coming. That pressure and that heat is coming. And he can't avoid it no more. If this regime finishes without a win the rest of the season, <laughs> I shudder to think what will happen because, hey, John Mara, he said it already. They're safe. He doesn't anticipate making – he's not making any in-season changes to this regime, and he doesn't anticipate making any after the season. Well, you finish with two, three wins. To, you know, you finish with a two-win, 15 record or a three-and-14 record, <laughs> all bets are off. You know, I don't know if this regime will be back and they might not deserve to be back. So, listen, I think this is a move that instead of them going to Drew Locke, I feel like they did this because Brian Dable feels more confident. He feels more confident than Tommy DeVito at this time because he knows the offense. And quite frankly, <laughs> quite frankly, Drew Locke sucks. He's not good. He isn't. He never was. OK, so. For everyone questioning what's going on, this is about, I think, Brian Dable wants to see if he can win a couple of games and save himself. And I'm also going to say one more thing. If the Giants were to move on after the season, I'm not with the whole just fire the coach and keep the GM. They are a package deal to me. So if they want to stick around, they're going to have to win a couple of games. All in all, Big news today, as we said, Daniel Jones is gone. He is benched. He's the third string now. Tommy DeVito, the starter. They play, take on Tampa Bay this Sunday, and we'll see how it goes. Like and subscribe to Born for Sports. Let's go, Giants.